Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run-through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to take you through the five stages of Stalin's takeover of Eastern Europe. As the Red Army pushed the Nazis out of Eastern Europe and back towards Germany, Stalin made sure to leave his soldiers in those liberated countries, believing that whomever held the territory militarily had the right to control it. Stalin encouraged the communist parties of Eastern Europe to join coalition governments and, once in power, they would begin eroding the influence of other parties. With enough influence, these communist parties began arresting opposition, ultimately ensuring the countries of Eastern Europe became one-party states. These now communist governments would then take control of crucial elements of state power. Then, in order to legitimize communist control, the governments would hold rigged elections, which would always result in overwhelming victories for the communist parties. Having said all of this, it is important to remember that many people in Eastern Europe welcomed Soviet influence. 